Hello everyone! In today's video I will show you how to install Firefox in Windows XP. As you can see here I have a clean installation of the OS. The process is very easy, simply hover your mouse over the line at the bottom of your screen. Click on Devices then go to Shared Folders and click on Shared Folder Settings. It will now open up this window, here click on the folder with the plus icon on it. On Folder Path select Other and then navigate to where you have downloaded the folder I gave you in this video's description. Once you've done that, simply select the options Auto Mount and Make Permanent. Click OK. And OK once again. Now go to Start and open up my computer. Here you will see a Network Devices section with the folder you mounted earlier, double click on that to open. In here you will find the installation file, double click on that too and simply follow what I do on the video. And there you have it, Firefox installed on Windows XP. When you start it up for the first time it might prompt you to install the newer version of Firefox, however I do not recommend doing that since Windows XP does not support any newer versions of the browser from the version I gave you in the description. So simply close off that tab. And now it is ready to use it. Keep in mind this only works if you have Windows XP in a virtual machine, since if you have it on a regular machine you will need to configure the internet to work first. Virtual machines come with all the internet drivers you will need. I have made another video on how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox. You can go check it out by the link in the description. Now I will show you how to do that if you have the VM window. The process is pretty much the same, just follow what I do in the video. And there it is, just remember what I told you about not installing newer versions. And here comes the end of this video, pretty easy tutorial right? Don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel, have a nice day!